Hi, this is Anna Imagination with The Healing Garden. So one of my favorite things to do is reverse engineer business to find a healthier, better ethical way of doing things. And I reached a point where I am done with everything sales. Like I can't even, just even hearing the word at this point makes me feel sick. And the reason why is because when you say the word sales, you are, imagine there's an entire, there's a chain reaction. You have a full chain reaction. And when you say the word sales, you are only focusing all of your attention on the end point of the entire chain reaction sale or the chain reaction process. Now there's a lot of other stuff happening here, such as human, people, connection, all of that beautiful stuff. And when you focus on the word sales, when you say the word sales, you are literally removing the entire chain reaction from the process and you're only hyper focusing on that what ends up resulting is literally a cheat sheet to get you to the sales and this is exactly where sales came from it's a cheat sheet for breaking down the process cherry picking the highlights only to manipulate the entire chain reaction to get you to the sale and after repeat repetition and teaching and teaching and passing this process down generation to generation all that's left now is the word sales, the focal point, and every message from teacher to student that's been passed on since just reflects on how are we going to use this person to get us to this result. And we are so hyper-focused on that result that we've dehumanized people. We have dehumanized people so much that we refer to people as leads. The word lead means clue. For instance, in detective and criminal law, we say I've got a lead, as in I have a clue that leads to the murder. That's what that language is. So the sales people, traditional sales, literally uses criminal language to hyper-focus on their end result to manipulate the entire process while dehumanizing the client by calling them a lead. It is literally the criminal mindset. It is a, a tactic that criminals use when they commit a crime on a victim. They dehumanize the victim. That's why they're okay with it is because they've dehumanized the victim. Sales is criminal. It literally uses the criminal language, which is why I'm going, I, I can't even say it anymore. It's disgusting. It's that dirty. It's because it's criminal. It's borrowing from crime psychology and crime linguistics. That's how dirty sales is. It's criminal. So I spent the morning breaking down a new language and I want to give you this language. Please use this for your people. Listen to this. The first rule is we're going to humanize people again. And I'm going to pull right out of the Roman empire here and call them patrons. They are patrons. That's the first rule. Now the what's in it for me with them. No, no, no. With them means I'm going to win at your disadvantage and you are going to lose. That is what with them means. No, 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 no. We do not do that. We're back to that criminal language. So I had to replace with them with something else. I replaced it with win, win, win. Oh, I love this. Win, win, win works like this. I have to win. You have to win. And both of our people have to win. Now, if all three of us are not winning, we're not going to do business. Not even nope, cutting you off, not, not even in discussion. We have to all three win. If you and I are the only ones winning and not our people, I'm not interested. You have to win. I have to win. And our people have to win. Otherwise, why are we doing business? The other thing is equal footing. Equal footing is vital. If you and I are not on equal footing, then it's not going to work. Absolutely not. Because anything less than equal footing means that there is a non-consensual connection happening and non-consent is literally the raping of energy. Equal footing is the only place in physics and in power economics where this is possible. So the very first requirement is equal footing must be established, which is why we have peace offerings, which is why we gift, uh, why we gift. The next thing we do is we look for that win, 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 and we call them patrons. And then we call this a trade. We do not use the other word. We do not use the S word. We call it trade. 
because that's what we're doing. We are trading. It's a three-way trade. My services for your, well, my resources, let's call it for what it is, my resources for your resources, for the people's resources, and all that through. So it's this beautiful flowing circuit. I believe that is it. So now, listen to this. Hi, my name is Anna Imagination with a Healing Garden. I am looking to connect with you to discuss a trade for a win-win-win between you, me, and our people for the betterment of humanity. I would love to connect with you to see if we can discuss a trade to achieve that win-win-win for the betterment of humanity. Now there, that's ethical business. Thank you so much. And may the kindest of words always find you.